Hello everybody, I hope you are doing great. Welcome to our EKB channel. In the last lesson, you learned about object pronouns and how to use them. So don't forget to watch them before you start this video. In this lesson, you can learn about possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns. So, what are their definitions and what is the role in a sentence as a coming step? So you should listen carefully and attentively to this dialogue in order to answer the questions. Hello, my friend. Where is your phone? I don't see it. Here it is. Are you blind? Oh, actually, it looks like my phone. No, it is mine, not yours. Okay, excuse me. Do you know that Muhammad and Fatima bought the same phone? Yeah, I know, but his phone is more expensive than hers. How much do they cost? His costs 3,000 dirhams, but hers costs only 2,000 dirhams. What if we compare between their phones and ours? Ours are from Redmi brand, but theirs are from iPhone type. Oh, they must be from a wealthy family. Yes, I know them very well. They live in a big house, but I don't like its design. This dialogue includes eight possessive adjectives as well as eight possessive pronouns. The possessive adjectives are my, your, his, her, its, our, your, and their. The possessive pronouns are mine, yours, his, hers, it, ours, yours, and theirs. After listening to this dialogue, can you insert the missing words in these sentences? Take some minutes to think, pause the video and answer this question. Here are the answers. All these adjectives and pronouns refer to the notion of position. In other words, they are used to show that something belongs to us or owned by us or something else or somebody else. In the third sentence, the pronouns mine and yours are used to avoid the repetition of the phrase my phone and your phone. In these sentences, hers in the third sentence is used to replace the phrase her phone. However, his in the second sentence is also used to replace the phrase his phone so that we avoid repeating the same phrase all the time. Instead of repeating the phrase our phones, we have used ours as a possessive pronoun. However, in the second sentence, we use theirs as a replacement for the phrase their phones. In the last example, we use it at in order to say that the word design is possessed by the house. To sum up, both possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns are used to indicate the possessor or the ownership. However, possessive adjectives plus a noun can be replaced by the possessive pronouns so as to avoid repeating the same information. As usual, if you have any kind of questions or if you don't understand anything, don't hesitate to contact us in our email or leave it as a comment below. Finally, if you find this content beneficial, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video with the next lesson.